Morning everybody and I hope you had a great Easter weekend. Uh, this is going to be very fast. I forgot to turn my alarm on last night so I didn't wake up till 6 30. So that's a half an hour late. Um, it's already seven o'clock so and I've really really rushed. So I am just going to go into what I'm wearing today and we'll talk tomorrow morning. So this morning I wore um, the Rimmel brow this way but um, in, I have no idea what color it is. I don't know it's a brown. Anyway, this morning it went on horrible. Um, I'm decluttering this. And look at that. You see that clump? That's the way it comes out. Can you see how wet that is? It smears, and um, I don't know if it's past its prime, if it's, I don't know, but it's going in my empties. Um, it just didn't do what I wanted it to do at all this morning, and I did not have time to mess with it, so... I don't know. I'm just not happy with anything this morning. I used the Super Sizer by CoverGirl. It usually does great on my lashes. This morning, it would not cover my lashes. Um, and every time I blinked, I'd have to clean up underneath my eyes. I don't know. I'm just not happy with anything this morning. I'm going to keep this and keep giving it a try because I've always liked this. But um, I'm just not very happy with it this morning. Um, for my blush, um, I told you, I'm not happy with stuff this morning. This is the Santee blush in, um, color O2. <clears throat> it's pretty. Powdery as heck. It just flies everywhere. This one's going in the declutter, too. I'm, I'm being kind of, I'm trying to pare down my makeup. So, um, just not happy with this one. It, and then when I put it on this morning, I had clumps of pink on my cheeks that I had to kind of blend in. Um, and it wasn't because of my brush, because I used my Old Faithful here, um, as usual. And I had clumps of this, even after I tap my brush off very very much because it's so powdery so I've got so many blushes this one's going to declutter um, I'm not gonna st I'm not gonna save stuff that I've used quite a few times anymore it's just going in the declutter and going in the garbage uh, my lip liner today is Ulta and Spice And my lipstick is the um, their real benefit, their real double double the lip, and it's in what did I say that was in Pink Thrills, and this is what they look like. Um, I don't know why I use the lip liner with these because they they have the lip liner. You can see it here. Uh, I can't do this very well. You can see it now at that top there. Um, it, they're awkward to work with. These are because of the lip liner. I have to clean up after myself uh, when I use them. So anyway, that is my unhappy morning with everything. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday of Making It Work. Um, I have a little bit more time today, so we will talk about the weekend. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter, for those of you that celebrate it, that is. Um, Friday, let's see, we had off Friday and Monday at work. I took off Thursday. I think I remember telling you that I fell. Well, um... 
I hurt my knee pretty bad and I hurt my foot, my, my right foot, my left knee. So I went to the doctor um, Thursday night, no, Wednesday night, I fell Wednesday. I went to the um, urgent care clinic um, and they took an x-ray of my foot and it was not broken but it was severely strained or sprained sorry um, so she wrapped it up and um, I was supposed to wear that for a couple of days and my ankle now just feels like normal I don't even know if it was sprained to tell you the truth I don't know how they can tell but um, it feels good now I mean I get a twinge every once in a while but not really too bad but I was concerned because I had broken that foot before and it really hurt and it was turning black and blue so um, that's why and it was probably because it was black and blue that that she thought it was sprained so anyway it feels good now but my knee um, has hurt pretty bad ever since um, it really it, it's getting a little bit better now, but it really hurt when I would go to get up from a sitting position. Oh, my God. But it is um, got a really big red ring around the scab. And so when I went to the doctor yesterday, um, she said it just looks inflamed. The nurse, she said it looks inflamed, but I should get some antibiotic ointment to put on it. So I did. I got some bacitration. Bacitation? Ba now I can't say it. Bacitation? I think it is. Um, and wore that last night, put a Band-Aid on it. The Band-Aid was gone this morning, but... <laughs> um, I just bought cheap band-aids and I should know better. Anyway, um, um, I'll keep that on there every day until it, that goes away. She, she just thought it was very inflamed. but um, And it, it's a little bit swollen around the scab area. I think I bruised that bone is what I think because it's just been so darn sore. Um, and it's been almost a week. Tomorrow, today will be a week since I did it. And it's still really sore. So, anyway. Um, so, anyway, I, uh, she didn't want me to work uh, Thursday. So, I took Thursday off also. So, I had five days off. But they just went boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so fast. Easter went over to Mom's. Um, she keeps saying she's not going to cook big meals anymore you know she just can't do it and then she does it so anyway she made the turkey I made all the sides to go with it we had a lot of you know it was just like a big holiday dinner my uncle and my cousin and then um, his daughter just moved back from Florida so she's my age so she came over too so that was great that was great I'm glad she's here we'll we'll spend some time together um, Maybe we'll become pretty good friends, you know. It's been a long time since she's been home. I mean, I've seen her once in a while when she came home, but um, it's been a long time since we hung out. So, anyway, yesterday I had my appointment with Dr. Santos, my kidney specialist, and I had my labs done, um, peed in a cup and all that stuff. And then I did telemed with him, which is, he's on a big old TV screen, and he sees me on the TV screen. And we talk to each other. That saves dry, having to drive 75 miles to his office, or waiting for an available appointment when he's here, which is pretty hard to get. So, um, it really saves a lot. And I liked it. Um... He went over, he had all my results, he had my results from my um, renal ultrasound. He said they tested for bone cancer. I don't know why they tested for bone cancer. Um, but that was negative. So, 
thank God. My dad had bone cancer when he died, so that kind of scared me when he said that. But um, it was negative anyway. And my right kidney has a lot of wear and tear on it. He said that's the kidney that's not functioning very well. And my left kidney has a cyst. He said he didn't think it, or he, it didn't look like it was cancerous. It was, um, we'll just keep an eye on it to see if it grows or, you know, needs to be taken off or whatever. And uh, my kidney function has gone up to 50%. It was uh, 40%, so it's gone up 10, 10 degrees. So that's 10%. So that was good news, very good news. Um, I don't have to see him again for four months and then we'll repeat my labs and do all that. Um, if my labs go down again, then um, we will do something else. But he said for right now it looks like they're coming up. So four months and then in six months I will have another renal ultrasound to check that cyst and, and the um, function in my right kidney. So he doesn't seem too concerned if I don't have to go back for four months. So he said if um, I keep having problems with um, holding my urine that to let him know and he will get me on a med. So another med. Just what I need. He said to not take the anti-inflammatory that I was taking before because it's bad on the kidneys. I'm not taking it anyway, so I'm taking um, a pain med now, so, um, and I'm doubling that. Doctor told me that I could double my pain med, so. I forgot to ask him about the keto diet because I'm thinking about starting it um, once school is out to lose some weight. Because I think losing some weight would maybe help my back. I don't know. I, I'm willing to try anything. <laughs> so anyway. Um, is that all the news I have for you? I think so. Um, doctor said that he could tell that I've been drinking a lot more water. Which I have. Um, I have a glass or a glass and a half at lunchtime. Just a regular glass like this um, of ice water and I have a tumbler that's about this tall um, a nice big tumbler that I fill with ice water in the morning and I drink all that during the day I don't drink I'm not as good at drinking it once I get home I have a great big like 72 ounce um, thing for water with a straw that um, I'll fill up every once in a while with um, water and ice and drink out of that. So I might start doing that. I might start limiting my Coke. I have one 16 ounce Coke after work every day and sometimes I finish it, sometimes I don't. Um, that's a lot less than I was drinking before. I was drinking a 24 before and they are I don't think they're making those now. So um, I'm going to start limiting that a little bit. Maybe like every other day have one um, and have the water every other day. Might start out that way and try to wean myself off the Coke. Um, I just, I like it. And I don't have it at work. I have water and orange juice at work is all I have. So I have one 16 ounce coke a day. Um, in the summer I usually have a little bit more because it's hot you know but the water will do me good in the summer so anyway I'm gonna get going I gotta tell you what I'm wearing today I'm wearing my Project Beauty stuff which I haven't updated in forever um, it's gonna be quite an update when I do an update <laughs> so anyway I am wearing the um, Milani Easy Brow in medium brown. That I tell you this every week, but I'm having a hard time getting my brows done with this now. So I have to go, I had to go into it three times today to do each brow. So it is getting there. It, 
you know, once it stops working all together, then I'll go with something else. Or once it gets just so hard, it's ridiculous, I'll go with something else. So, and then I'm wearing my Too Faced Better Than Sex, still going good. For my blush, I'm wearing the Milani um, blush in Tea Rose. Clean Color um, Lip Liner in Mauve. And Lovecraft by Kat Von D. Which is, it is so stiff on my lips. Uh, that's why I'm not crazy about this, why I want to use it up. Because it's just so stiff. Um, gets a little bit creamier the more you put on, but you have to kind of pile it on to get it creamy. So that's why I want to use it up. Buddy, get out of there. Anyway, um... Yesterday morning, I got to tell you, I shut my alarm off on my phone when I have days off so I, it doesn't wake me up so early in the morning. And yesterday morning, Buddy, every once in a while it, at night, he will, like, he'll almost kind of howl. Um, and he meows and he meows and he meows in the middle of the night. And I was telling him to be quiet and stuff. And then I kind of came awake enough where I thought, I better look at my clock and see what time it is. I don't remember turning my alarm back on. And I didn't. It was 6.38, and I always get up at 5 to 6. So I had to do a little rush job, but I got there in plenty of time. Um, I, you know, as you know, I didn't do much yesterday. I went straight to my, um, what I was wearing yesterday. So, um... It could have been a lot worse. So I gave him a little extra treat last night. Some little snacks for waking me up yesterday morning. <laughs> Otherwise I would have gotten phone calls, I think. So anyway, my alarm is on now. I can't believe I did that. That I didn't remember to turn my alarm off. Or on, sorry. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. I, uh, last night I just came home, went to the post office and came home. My knee, um, I told you it was, um, kind of tore up and the scab was growing over it kind of weird. And yesterday when I came home, it bothered me all day yesterday. It just kind of hurt. And, um, I put some antibiotic cream on it when I got home, then Later on, like at 8 o'clock, I put, went to put some antibiotic cream on it again, and my finger came away bloody. So I took a tissue and, and started dabbing at it. Um, it. It was, to begin with, it was um, really raised up, the scab. And I thought, geez, this is going to heal weird, you know, because it was just really raised up. So I took some tissues and started dabbing at it, and out came the lots of blood and, sorry, pus um, from it. And this morning it looks really good, but um, per a friend's advice, I'm going to go to the doctor and get some antibiotics. The antibiotic cream will not help, and it'll spread. So... Um, you know, just because it looks good this morning doesn't mean that the infection's gone. So uh, I'm going to go get some antibiotics to take. Uh, what next? <laughs> so let's get into what I'm wearing today. First thing I'm wearing is this, um, let's see, Winky Lux um, eyebrow gel. Now, we got this in a boxy charm. Is anybody else that is using this having trouble with it? I had to press so hard to get any color payout. Otherwise, it was like it was, I don't know, like it was almost dried up or something. Um, although I know these don't dry up, but I had to press so hard to get any 
color payout. And that's not the way it was the first couple of times I used it. So um, anybody else having any problems with this? Let me know. I'm going to keep it for now. But I don't like the way I had to use it this morning. So if it's like that every time, I will declutter it. I'm not going to mess around with makeup that doesn't work for me anymore because I have got so much of it. I am decluttering stuff. My next thing is the Star Wars um, um, mascara. It is the uh, Super Sizer in waterproof form. This is going into to the recycle, or not my recycle, but my empties bin. It um, is so clumpy that my lashes just all stick together. I had a heck of a time getting them fixed this morning. So this one is going into the declutter bin because I just, I don't like that at all. And I'm tired of messing with that kind of stuff. So um, my blush today is the Ulta Mini in Sweet Cheeks. Comes like this. And it's okay. I'm going to start decluttering some of my blushes too, I think. Um, I did did one earlier, but I'm going to... This one's okay, though. I mean, um, it's not too powdery. And, you know, there's never much of a payoff on my face because it's a naked face. And blush just does not stick to my skin. I don't even know why I use it half time, but um, that's okay. My lip liner today is Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Never Petal Down. And this is so creamy. I can't figure out when they're so creamy how they stay on your lips. But they do. And I'm wearing the Tarte lipstick in um, Angelic Nude. Comes in this kind of kind of papery. I've had it for years. <laughs> so um, I, I never, the reason I never wore them too much is it's gritty. And it's a beautiful color and this does not um this shows more of my lip liner color than it does the lipstick this is such a pretty nude but it's gritty and i don't really care for that so i don't know yet um i might declutter some of them that i have i have already decluttered a few of them uh or put them in, you know, the giveaway stuff because one was like an orange and I don't like orange at all. So, um, anyway. And here I go again. I'm saying it. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I need to get going to... I've got a couple things to do on the computer this morning. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Last night I went to um, our urgent care, which is called Avera now, to, um, I couldn't get a an appointment at my doctor's office, so I went to our urgent care to have them look at my knee. And it is infected and I have, I'm on antibiotics now. What next? Um, burnt my finger. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, on the oven, uh, night before last. And it is weeping today. I couldn't take good enough care of it yesterday. I tried to wear gloves. And I thought, oh, as much as I sweat in them gloves, that's not good for that. So I, um, didn't do anything. I was going to put antibiotic ointment on it last night. Let me tell you. Okay, I'm back. I'm a little stuffy this morning. Um, anyway, uh, I did some research on gabapentin, which is my pain med, because um, I was just taking one um, every three times a day, but I only took it once um, during my first break, and it didn't help me at all. So I did some research how much, how... Um, what is the dosage, maximum dosage I can take at one time? And you can take like 1,200 
um, at once. Which would be 12 pills <laughs> for me. <laughs> but I took four yesterday morning. When I got up, uh, two at my first break and two at my lunch. And it made me loopy as hell. Um, I think it was just, I was so drowsy that I was loopy. Um, I, I went to the doctor. I was fine driving. Everything was okay there. I was fine when I was sh doing my shopping, stuff like that. And I came home. And it was about almost 7 o'clock when I got home. And I ate my supper. I went to McDonald's. and I, So I ate my supper. And um, did, you know, read my email, stuff like that. And then I decided almost 8 o'clock. <sighs> trying not to sneeze. At almost 8 o'clock, I decided I would watch Ink Master. I started, uh, I went to the page, started looking for it. Next thing I knew, it was 12.30. It just, just like at the doctor's office, I was sitting there and waiting. You know, I probably had to wait maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I don't know. And uh, I was reading my book. My book fell out of my hand twice. I started going to sleep. It just made me so, it, it's when I slowed down, when I, you know, like sit there and read my book. Fell out of my hand twice. That never happens. Um, excuse me. Uh, I started drowsing off at home right at 7, and I just kept myself awake. And eight, by 8 o'clock, I was sound asleep. 12.30, I woke up, I rolled over, went back to sleep, slept, you know, I woke up periodically because I didn't have a blanket on. I was cold, but I was too dang tired to get my blanket. <laughs> it was laying on the floor. <laughs> and I had a log 90 on, so I just covered up my legs. And <laughs> the way I went to back to sleep land. I'll never do that again. I won't take eight in a day. But I took two this morning. I'll take two again. That's six. I'm going to see how that does. Um, but it didn't help my pain. So I don't even know why I'm taking them. So, anyway. <laughs> let's see what I'm wearing today. Uh, the, I'm glad that I got rid of my mascara from yesterday. Sorry about that. I am just so stuffy this morning. I hope I'm not getting something. Anyway, this morning I wore my Anastasia Brow Gel. I did go over it twice just to make it a, a little bit darker. Um, I love this. You know, if I could only have one brow mascara, this is the one I would get. I love this stuff. I mean, it's just it just goes on like a dream. Uh, my mascara today is Urban Decay Perversion. It's one of my absolute favorites. It was a little bit hard this morning because of the mascara from yesterday. I could not get it all off. It was I do, I do not like waterproof mascara for that reason. Um, I, it's just too hard to take off. So this doesn't look as good as it usually does. Uh, for my Blush today, I'm wearing the Milani. Excuse my voice. I'm just so stuffy this morning. Uh, it's Color Harmony Blush in Pink Play. And this is what the outside looks like. It's so pretty. And I really like it a lot. I really like Milani blushes. My... Uh, Lip liner today is Huda Beauty in, what did that say, Bloss? Bombshell. And it is really pink. It is like a baby pink. I only use this when I have um, darker lipsticks or something I want to uh, kind of disguise a little. And my lipstick today is 
Coral Blossom by Tarte Beauty. This is going into the uh, empties. It is just too orange for me. I normally don't really mind too, some corals, but this one is really orangey on me. I mean, it kind of turned it a little bit more pink because of the um, lip liner, but it is really orange when you put it on. So that one's going into the empties. I, Like I said, I am decluttering um, the stuff that I just really don't, am not in love with, I'm going to put away. They're going to go away. So anyway, uh, that is my story for last night. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday. Three weeks left. Bye-bye. Let's have a secret word this week, should we? Let's do uh, tart. Like in tart makeup. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.